Hi everybody, in this video we're going to learn how to use 3D text in 3JS. We're going to need some files from 3JS, so let's google 3JS GitHub Mr. Doob. There we go. And let's go into examples, and let's go into the JSM folder because I'm using modules. If you're not using 3 module JS, then you would go into JS folder. And we want to go into the loaders. Let's scroll down and we want font loader. There we go, font loader JS. So I'm going to click raw. And here it is. I'm just going to right click save as and save it. Okay, and now I'm going to click the back arrow. We need one more folder. We need the text geometry folder. So let's go back one more. So in the geometry folders now, we were in the loaders folder. Now we want to be in the geometries folder. And scroll down until you see text geometry. We want that file. Click on that and click on raw. And here it is here. So right click, save as, and save it to your device. Now we're going to put it into our code editor. So you can just drag and drop them. I have everything in my modules folder, so that's where I'm putting them. So for font loader JS, you're going to have to make sure the path at the beginning here, it says import these things from It'll just say three. You have to change it to where three dot module js is in your code editor directory. So mine's in my modules folder. And the same thing for text geometry js. Here it says import extrude geometry from. You have to change this path to wherever three dot module js is in your code editor. Okay, now we're going to need some fonts. We just can't bring in a font from your Windows font folder. It has to be in a typeface JSON. So we're going to download a font we want. And then we're going to use an online converter to convert it to a typeface JSON and then bring it into our code editor. Good safe place to get free fonts is Google Fonts. Google Fonts, just click on that. And you know what, I think I'm just going to get Roboto. You know, I'm just going to click download the family. I'm going to download all the Roboto. Now I'm going to have to unzip it. So I'm just going to open that folder, right click it. I'm going to extract it and hit extract. So I've got all the Roboto fonts. Now we can just pick one and turn it into a typeface JSON. I'm going to use the facetype.js typeface generator. The link for this website is in the description below. Basically, you can just pick a font and it will convert it into a face type JSON that we can use. Roboto medium and hit convert at the bottom here. You don't have to change the settings here. You can just hit convert. There we go. And it downloads the JSON to your computer. Now all you got to do is put it into your code editor. I have a fonts folder, so I'm going to put it in there. Here is my Roboto medium regular uh, typeface JSON. Now we're ready to use it. So the first thing I'm doing is importing all my modules. So I'm importing 3.module.js, orbit controls, the font loader, JS, and text geometry, JS. Okay, now I'm declaring my global variables. I just have one, it's glow. I want to control the emissive light on the text with this variable glow. And then I'm creating a scene, and now I'm creating my perspective camera, and I'm setting it at this position, and I'm looking at the origin. Making my render, I'm setting anti-alias to true. I'm setting the three JS background alpha to true. That means I can create a background using CSS. And in my CSS, I'm creating a linear background here that I made using an online CSS gradient, a generator. Okay, I'm setting the output encoding to 3sRGB encoding. It just shows better colors in my opinion. I am enabling shadows. So now I'm creating two lights, a rectangular area light and a point light. The rectangular area light will make it look like the text is giving off light and the point light will cast shadows on the text. So the, for the rectangular area light, you pass in the color, the intensity. The intensity will be controlled by the glow variable, which will match the timing that the emissive light on the text goes on and off and the width and the height. And for the point light, I'm setting the color, the intensity and the maximum range. And I'm setting the position and I'm setting the cast shadow property to true. And now I'm creating the ground plane and I'm setting the receive shadow property to true. So it can receive shadows from the text. And then I'm setting my orbit controls. Okay, now for the text. So I put my text in a string and it's in this text variable. And my text object will be stored in the text mesh variable because I'll be using it in different functions. Here I'm creating a new font loader and I'm using it to load 
the typeface uh, JSON that I just brought into my code editor here. Okay, and then I'm going to run the function and pass this font into the variable font and call this function. So the process of using 3D text is just the same for any other 3D object. You have to create a geometry and you have to create a material and then you're going to pass the geometry and material into the mesh, this text mesh object that we declared up here. So first is my text geometry. I'm passing in my text variable first. The text variable is hello, the string that I declared up here. And then the rest of these are object properties. So I'm setting the font to font. The font is what is loaded up here in the loader. And then the size, height, and all these other things that you can control. Now I'm making the text mesh by passing in the geometry and the material. So new three text mesh, passing in these geometry that I put up here. And I'm created two different materials. One for the front of the text. So the first one is for the front of the text. This mesh fong material and it has an emissive color and an emissive intensity that I'm controlling with the variable glow. Just like I'm controlling that rectangular area light with this glow variable. And for the sides of the text, I'm using a different color. So I'm using the same material, mesh fong material, but a different color. And I'm passing that in an array. So now we have our text mesh, so we can control that like any other 3D object. So I'm just adding that to the scene. I'm giving it a position, and I'm setting the cast shadow and receive shadow properties to true. So it can cast shadows on the plane and receive shadows from other objects. And then I'm just adding an event listener and calling the animate function. And then the animate function, it's just a normal animate function. I'm requesting an animation frame. So the animate function will be called again and again and again. Now I'm controlling this glow variable. So this will control the glow of the front of the text and the rectangular area light. So I'm just picking a random number from 0 to 1 and subtracting it by 0.6 because I want it a little darker. And I'm passing this variable into the text mesh material, the front material. That's why there's 0 in brackets because it's an array. And the front material is the first index in that array and I'm controlling the emissive intensitive property with this glow variable. And then I'm controlling the rectangular light intensity property with this glow variable as well. So the, the timing will be matched. They'll go on and off together. And then I'm just rendering it. And that's, and that's all there is to it, to creating 3D text.